Solve for positive integers a, b, c such that a plus b plus c equals a times b times c. How shall I do it? You see, a, b, and c appear symmetrically. So what we can do is, without loss of generality, suppose that c is bigger than b is bigger than a. So we just sort them and greater than or equal to 1. So now, if we have the order of a, b, and c, then we can simplify this equation. Now you see, the sum of a, b, and c is clearly less than or equal to c plus c then plus c. And c plus c then plus c is actually 3c. So we see the sum of a, b, and c is clearly less than or equal to 3c because a is less than or equal to c, b as well. Now, since a plus b plus c is equal to a times b times c, so the left-hand side is just equal to a times b times c. So we get a times b times c is also less than or equal to 3c. Since we have the divisor c, on the both sides, and it's not equal to zero. So we can just cancel it from the both sides. So then we get the product of a and b is less than or equal to three. a and b are positive integers. So a times b should also be a positive integer. That means it is also bigger than or equal to one. So that means there are three values that a, b can take. So we have three cases. The first one is if a, b is equal to 1. It's very simple. If a, b is 1, since a and b are both positive integers, so we can get a and b should both be 1. Then plug it into our original equation, we get 1 plus 1 plus c equals 1 times 1 times c. We'll get an equation about c. 2 plus c equals c, which will never hold. So in this case, the equality doesn't hold. In our second case, if a, b is 2. If a, b is 2, since we have a is less than or equal to b. However, 2 can only be written as 1 times 2 or 2 times 1 because it's prime. And a is smaller than or equal to b, so that means a can only be 1 and b is 2. In this case, we have 1 plus 2 plus c equals 1 times 2 times c, 3 plus c equals 2c. Subtract c from the both sides, c equals 3. In our third case, a, b is 3, because 3 is also a prime number. We get a is 1, b is 3 because b is always greater than or equal to a. Substitute the values into our original equation. We get 4 plus c equals 3c. However, this is wrong, because in this case, b is greater than c. So now, how many solution pairs do we have? Maybe we're going to say 1. A is 1, B is 2, C is 3. However, do not forget that we have without loss of generality because our original equation is symmetric. So that means we have all the permutations of A, B, and C as solution pairs because the values differ from each other. So we have 3 times 2 times 1 is 6 possibilities. 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 2, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3, 1, 
three one two and three two one. They're all our solution pairs. So did you get them? Six solution pairs. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to me for more wonderful questions, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.